Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Ow. In my last video, I said this video was gonna be about this, but it's not. The shop was really a mess. Therefore, this video is about cabinets, doors, and drawers. Doesn't get much more embarrassing than this, or this. I just get too involved doing projects and I get messy. And I save a lot of stuff that I never use. And it's about time I finish up some doors and drawers. And drawer faces. So today, we're gonna put a new upper cabinet here and hardwood storage cabinet right here. But let's clean this mess up first. I've been saving this stack forever and finally decided if I haven't used it by now, it's time to get rid of it. I had to take time to contemplate exactly how I wanted to do this. My goal is to use all my scrap. So I found two old shelves that I'm gonna use as legs. And here's my shelves. I had other junk. And cut out a top. Nothing fancy here. Just a couple legs, a top, and some shelves. A little hardwood storage. I call this just a down and dirty build. Nothing fancy, just totally practical. Put it in place and then put some bracing on the back for nailers so I could screw it into the wall. Quick, simple, easy, and cheap. And then it's time to make room. Nice having a lumber cart that you can roll around, which I never rolled around until today. Now I've got all kinds of room in the shop. I did have to buy one full sheet of melamine. I'm dialing in my CNC to help me build cabinets. Here, it's making the dados. I already made the door pockets for the hinges. Having a CNC really makes it nice. The dados are clean. You do stuff you don't normally do, like pre-drill for screws right here, and cut out blind dados, which are harder to do when you do them manually and not on a CNC. The router bit makes for two clean cuts on both sides of the melamine. And the CNC is ridiculously accurate. and put shelf pin holes in nice and neat. Break the pieces out and clean them up on the plus trim bit on the router table. I hand band all the exposed faces with some fake mahogany tape. and put the cabinet together like it's a piece of Ikea furniture. Cutting the back out here and I place it on there and this is what makes the cabinet square. Nail it all down on one side and then come back, square it up, and nail it off. Add two nailers to the back and this is what I'm gonna use to hang it off the wall. I am really thankful for the adjustability of bloom hinges. 
after a couple of adjustments, these things are going to fit perfect. Now it's time to fill that bad boy up. Now that I'm all organized, look at this big old empty space. I can think of something to go here. When I don't have a CNC to make my door hinges, I use this jig that I've got from Blue. It has a 35mm hole and two 8mm holes. Works out perfect. Panels are 32mm apart, 16 from the edge. I find the center of the hole. Put the jig on the end, drill the hole, use the alignment pin, and I've got a set of holes 32 millimeters apart, which is perfect for mounting door clips. And this is what a shop's supposed to look like. I'm a lot less embarrassed now. Who doesn't love more storage? I'm a big fan of putting doors and drawers in front of everything. Shelves have their place, but they collect dust. And a closed drawer gives the illusion of organization. Well, maybe not in this drawer. This is not the finished end. There will be another cabinet going right here. And that cabinet will have a finished end. Hey, I hope you liked this video. If you get a chance, push the little subscribe icon thing right here. Watch these two videos. Give us a comment, push the like button, and we will see you on our next riveting video.